Hi, I'm Tyler with TracerWire Technologies, and today we're here at the park to demonstrate how our devices can easily integrate into any TracerWire configuration, or how they should be properly installed in any new construction. So this is our, our single grounding terminal, and this would typically be used at the end of any lateral line, or at the beginning of any new line. As you can see, it's in the down or crowned position, as shown on the label on the side. Now this would typically be buried at about 18 inches below, providing the proper grounding uh, for this device, but for demonstration purposes, we drove a ground rod and tied a jumper to simulate the grounding effect for the, each of our devices. Also for demonstration purposes, we just laid the tracer wire out on the surface of the ground, and obviously that would be buried below with the utility. So let's go take a look at the triple and see what it does. So the triple is used in a location where you would have an intersection with the main line and a lateral. So here we have our lateral, which is where the locator will be hooked up, and we have downstream that way and upstream that way. So we have a uh, terminal for the downstream leg, a terminal for the upstream leg, and a terminal for the lateral line. Now this has the optional safety switch. Uh, this is purely just an indicator to show what can, uh, current grounding configuration this is in. Uh, this is for the electrical industry since it's red. Once again, this would be buried at about 18 inches below grade providing the grounding uh, configuration, but we just drove the ground rod here as well. So this is our double device, and this would be used on any mainline sections where uh, tracer wires come up um, before going back down in and continuing. So once again, you have a, a terminal for the downstream side, terminal for the upstream side, and the switch with the indication on the side showing which way the grounding configuration. This is for the gas industry since it's yellow. We have all of the different colors available for AWPA stuff. Now let's go hook the locator back up and uh, take a look at how this works. So the whole reason that we've developed these devices is so you can use low frequency to locate tracer wires. With current tracer wire construction practices, they leave the ends of the tracer wires stuck up out of the ground in behind a bush and just bent over, which are exposed to the elements. You're going to get weed whips, uh, and it just doesn't provide proper grounding. Our devices ensure, just with their intuitive design, that all the far end grounding is achieved because for low frequency, you do need a direct connection to the tracer wire, as well as far grounding for low frequency to work. So, if we were to, we drove our ground rod for our locator, tied the locator to the ground rod, now we're gonna tie the other line to the um, locating terminal, and now we have, we put this in the ungrounded state. Now let's go ahead and turn the locator on. And as you can see, we are in 512 hertz, which is low frequency, and we've got about 50 milliamps going out on this line. Now, something to keep in mind, our devices allow you to locate from this device to the next grounded location, that being the triple. So I should be able to easily locate this line, but the signal should not go to either upstream or downstream because all of my signal is gonna to go to that next grounded point. Let's go find out. Yep, that looks good. Nothing there. Nothing there. So now, if we want to continue locating on the upstream leg, what I need to do here is unground this location and tie a jumper wire, which is included with every purchase, on the locating terminal from the lateral line and go to the upstream ladder, er, line, which is this terminal. So now I should be able to, all of my signal is gonna go from our lateral down this line and be forced to go upstream, but nothing should be going downstream. This is called selective grounding. Let's find out. We have signal there. Now we have signal here. There shouldn't be anything back here. Nothing. So let's continue down this path. Now, once again, this being the next grounded position, no more signal should be going that direction. Let's find out. Nothing. So if I wanted to continue locating down this path, once again, unground this location, use the included jumper wire to connect the upstream 
to the downstream leg. Now my signal is coming from the transmitter to the triple, through the triple, to the next grounded location. So as you can see, we have, we're very excited about this technology and the ability to use low frequency to locate tracer wires. Uh, until, that, until now, this really hasn't been able to be achieved, uh, and we're very excited about this. So please let us know if you have any questions or if you'd like a demonstration. Thank you.